tell me how many zeros I need to add to the offer. It's a buyer's sorry, market sorry. right now. Good time to make a move. Welcome to Feeling Realty. I'm Zora, and I'm here to help with whatever you may need. What brings you in today? Looking to settle down or move up in the world or just window shopping? Mm, I don't blame you. It's a lovely city. The crown jewel of the UC. I'm here if you have any more questions or if you'd like to look at properties. Oh, don't I wish. Between UC regulations and demand here in the city, I haven't had a chance to branch out yet. But you best believe I'm keeping an eye on the situation and actively lobbying for a little more leeway. Okay, let me just pull up your data. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, but you're not a United Colony citizen. If, if you take the exciting step of becoming a citizen, we'll be here for you. As I've mentioned, property in New Atlantis is only available to United Colony citizens. That's one rule I'm not allowed to bend. Enjoy your time in New Atlantis! Thinking something classy but understated. Good for you. Crime has slowed down since you started helping out, which is... Yep. Something just came in. Scuffle over at the Dawn's Roost. Security on site handled it, but now one of them is saying the other guy stole his wedding ring. Problem is, he left without identifying the perp, so I need you to talk to Royce Elgin at the Dawn's Roost. See if you can fill in the gaps.
Men like him aren't very generous with their time. They want you to solve a case without ever having to lift a finger themselves. Not that he'd be much of a witness, given that he was still half drunk when he got here and somehow even more so when he left. Sorry, wrong word. Rich people don't get drunk, they get inebriated. Which is another way of saying highly unreliable. Good. Report back here when the matter's resolved. A restaurant over in the residential district caters to a very fancy clientele. It's the kind of place where forks come in different sizes, depending on the food. According to the patron, the ring is valuable, but if I had to guess, not for sentimental reasons. Normally, when someone loses a valuable keepsake, they're heartbroken. The way this guy was acting, it's almost as if he lost a wallet full of creds. Let me know if you have any questions. I do hope you are enjoying your time in New Atlantis. Ah, uh, most unfortunate incident. Complicated by the fact that both parties were inebriated. While I wasn't privy to the entire argument, Hugo and Octavio had been dining here together for quite some time. So, it was surprising to see them at each other's throats. I assume that would be the slender gentleman, Hugo Fournier. He was the one who excused himself after UC security arrived. I believe he lives in Athena Tower, although he may be checking out soon. But I would start there. The Dawn's Roost represents the highest quality, from the ingredients to the decor. No expense is spared. Anyone who has sampled our offerings will assure you it is all worth it. My pleasure. Enjoy the rest of your day. The scars from the colony war are still for me. I hope they... I have a pen pal in Sidonia. We've been writing to each other. The old, old-fashioned way. I'm close to 80 years old, so I will spare you the long version. <laughs> to put it simply, I lived. And I loved. And really, does a person need anything else? <laughs> and when you get those things, will you be content or will you suffer? Wanting more. 
Perhaps the key to a healthy life is to treasure what you already have. Just enjoying the view. <laughs> These days, my favorite thing to do is sit and listen. The wind, the trees, they all have their own language. Sometimes they even sing. You don't need my advice. You're alive. And you've survived everything that comes with that title. Which is to say, you are an achievement, a gift. Never forget that. Oh, it just so happens I need a letter delivered to my pen pal in Sidonia. Pay is in advance, 1,000 credits. What is a stranger except a friend you haven't met? Besides, there's something about you that I like, and I've always trusted my gut. Her name is Hattie. She used to live in the apartment I live in now. I used to get all her packages because she never bothered to change her address. One day I tracked her down and sent her a letter. She sent one back. And from then on, we just never stopped responding. Bless you, child. I believe you'll find Hattie at the community center in Sidonia. Just hand her the letter. She'll know who it's from. So, what's the point? Of what? this? Is it some sort of art? A Zen garden? What? It's a communal art installation. It's supposed to look nice. I guess. But I'm just saying you could have a whole backball field or some food stands. Something useful. It's always something with you. No, Atlantis is gorgeous. Don't get me wrong. So after an hour of whining, they're finally out here. They're just it's sitting on the grass. Day. They should be playing. Do you want to go another three rounds with them? Oh, they're slides. Like right there. Yeah, at least they're outside. I don't think you had to be there. Their story just... You're here because you need something you can connect with. Something you could count on. Am I right? Welcome to Centurion Arsenal. It is my absolute pleasure to assist you with any purchases or questions you may have. All sales are final, but that won't matter because you will undoubtedly be pleased with your purchase. You have my word. Is that a surprise? These are potentially matters of life and death we're talking about here. Well, that's not a simple question, is it? It all depends on who's asking. Hmm, I have my own personal favorites. But I wouldn't presume to know yours. Tell me, were you to find yourself in the unfortunate position of needing to use a weapon, what suits you best? Something up close and personal? Rapid fire? Is precision a consideration? Then might I suggest taking a closer look at some of our bladed options? Quiet, discreet, and very effective. Only the finest collection of armaments in the settled systems.
Howdy. Oh, I can't believe that old Davio. That liar, that manipulator, that... that... Yes, the man who... Wait, what? He's accusing me of theft? The nerve of that Lothario! Five years we were together, half a decade! And he threw it all away for that waiter! Not just dating, betrothed. And I have the engagement ring to prove it. It was supposed to be a romantic dinner, our last, before we pledged our lives to each other. But an hour before, I decided to do some cleaning to calm my nerves. I picked up a pair of pants he left on the floor, and out falls a napkin from the dawn's roost with a number written on the back. To think he had the audacity to schedule a date with me at the same restaurant? I was livid! Still, I went to the date and held it together just long enough for the waiter to serve us, then I went off! No, there are some things in life that cannot be repaired. Cheating is his way of saying, I don't love you, and without love, what's the point? He would say that, but as far as I'm concerned, it's my property. He gifted it to me when he proposed. It's not his to return. I'm glad you could see reason. This ring is going to fund a very long vacation across the settled systems. Hm. Maybe I'll even take pictures. What can I do for you? Ah, oh, perfect. Did you manage to get the ring back? Ugh. Really? I should have known this was a waste of time the moment I laid eyes on that drunk. That's on me. Without saying names, there are some people in this city who treat us like their personal security service. But you know how it goes. Sometimes we protect, other times we serve. Either way, I'm still going to pay you for your time. Here, take this. It's well deserved. I'm starting to run out of credits. Not right now, but John Tuala over at Must might. 
I hear they're looking for new recruits to join the vanguard. I check with him. Take care.
Good to see you again. Can I get you something? Hey there. Always nice to see a new face. First time in New Atlantis? <laughs> oh boy. I didn't mean for you to take it personally. It's just... Something is there to customers. Break the ice. Know what I mean? Listen. You just relax. Make yourself comfortable. You're welcome to stay as long as you want. That work for you, new guy? Let me know if there's anything I can get you. Yep. Spaceport traffic keeps me pretty busy. But just between you and me? I've got something in the works that'll change everything. A new drink that'll make this place famous. Galaxy-wide. You would love it, I guarantee. Only, I can't make you one right now. Don't have the ingredients. I made a deal with a holler to bring me some small samples of an ingredient I think will make all the difference. But it never showed up. Turns out the guy I hired was also hired by a few other folks. The kind of folks who ship less than legal cargo. Security got wind, and the whole lot was impounded. Now they're just sitting on it, taking their sweet time like they always do. It's killing me. I submitted all the paperwork, believe me. It won't amount to anything, but I did it. And really, I'm not even certain this is what I need to finish the recipe. I just... I think it is. I need to get my hands on that cargo. I really do. It's gonna keep me awake nights if I don't try. Before we say anything else, I am in no way asking you to do anything that might violate any of the many, many laws in place here in New Atlantis or the larger United Colonies. This is just one friend talking to another friend, asking if maybe that friend could possibly find a way to get her important cargo out of the impound. And if... Hypothetically, that were done in a less than 100% legal way? Well, that might not be the worst thing in the world. You, uh, with me on this? What? Come on, no! I'm already uncomfortable with this whole thing. Don't go making jokes like that. Seriously, can you help me with this or not? God. You have no idea what a relief this is. I'm obviously not expecting you or anyone to go in guns blazing and taking hostages or something. I just figure there has to be a way to get what I need. Yeah, this is hardly a life or death situation. Some light breaking and entering at worst, right? I'm obviously not expecting you or anyone to go in guns blazing and taking hostages or something. I just figure there has to be a way to get what I need. I know a few things, but not much. The cargo is being held down at the spaceport, not in the security office. Still, they use the same access cards. If you had one, it'd work. How or why you would have a UC security access card is none of my business, of course. I'm sure I'm better off not knowing. Beyond that, the ship decks over there might also be able to get in. I don't know any of them, or I'd be talking to them instead of you. No offense. Like I said, I submitted the usual security release forms. But because my cargo is tied up with a bunch of, again, totally unrelated illegal stuff, I don't expect the forms to matter. At all. I went and talked to an officer at the office, too. You, me. Sergeant, maybe? He was polite, but unhelpful. I declined to suggest that as our new slogan. New Atlanta security. Polite, but unhelpful. Truth in advertising, eh? I'm not worried. I'm annoyed. Wait, are you saying I should be worried? No, of course not. It'll be fine. Totally fine. I, I trust you. Hmm. Bit of a slow news day around here. 
Ah, well, speaking of news, some folks are convinced David Barron, you know, the SSN anchor, is some sort of free star sympathizer. <laughs> Ridiculous, if you ask me. Sure, they ran a couple of stories about Aquiles City that weren't totally critical, but come on. Have you ever been? It's really not that bad. Anyway, that's the sort of high-stakes stuff people talk up while waiting on a flight. So glad you asked, aren't you? I can tell. Catch you later. Pardon. The well's been having brownouts all the time. Masked. Finally sent someone down there, but nothing's changed. This really isn't a good place for civilians to be hanging around. There's something I can help you with? Oh, security impounded a ton of cargo and didn't have storage space for it all, so we're holding on to some of it until they can run inventory. So, you need something, or...? Uh, not really sure. Whenever they get through their backlog, I guess. There a reason you're asking? Yeah... I can't really just let you in there. Finally, someone who gets it. I'm glad you understand the position I'm in here. All right, look, don't tell anyone I did this for you. I could lose my job over it. If anyone asks, I had nothing to do with this. You got it? One second. All right, make it quick. If anyone asks, watch for the engine blast, will ya? They'll pull you right over. Need some work done? sound desperate but any luck finding my cargo hey there new guy good to see you again can I get you something oh no way you really got it I probably don't want to know what you did to get this right I mean I want to know but it's maybe better if I don't oh did you well I know who to go to next time I need to renew my liquor license. Well, look, I can assure this will all be worth it in the end. 
Matter of fact, I'm going to let you have the first ever sample. On top of that, you get free drinks. Not, not like unlimited free drinks. But you want a little pick-me-up now and then? I got you covered. I need some time to work on what comes next. But this... This was the difficult part, I think. Really? Thank you so much. Lucky for you, that is literally my job. What can I get you? See you around. You picked a good day to drop by. Bartender's making them strong today. You in uh, town for business? You're with Constellation? <laughs> Damn, that's cool. I've always admired you guys. Exploring the stars full time seems like a dream come true. That seems like we have that in common. Personally, I'm here looking for work. I just quit my job as a weapon tester for Mass. I'm billing myself as a weapons expert, sniper tech specifically. Most travelers like having someone on their crew who's good with firearms. <laughs> the settled systems are no picnic. Oh yeah, plenty of us. There's a whole branch of mass scientific wing called DRIP. That's dedicated to developing new weapons for the UC military. Well, I'll be damned, what a coincidence. Working on a ship sounds perfect. I was hoping my next job would get me out of the city. What's your offer? I'm a reasonable guy, but that's just too low. <sighs> All right. I'll look elsewhere then. If you change your mind, you can find me here. Hope life is treating you well. Let me know if I can get you anything. I'm only one person. It's so overwhelming. Hey! Oh, you're not Garl. Sorry, I shouldn't assume. Maybe you go by Garl. You're just not the Garl I was waiting for. We're supposed to be investigating a power drain down here. People have been reporting brownouts for a while. And Mass finally decided to follow up on it. I can't be in two places at once. And Garl isn't here. So I'm just trying to look inconspicuous. We're trying to isolate a power drain, which looks like it's the result of a large amount of power being rerouted through various subsystems. But it's kind of a two-person job. Someone needs to find the junction boxes associated with those subsystems and power them down. The other person needs to monitor the system remotely. It's pretty simple, really, and relatively safe. Only a small chance of electrocution. Co-worker of mine on this assignment with me. Clearly not taking it seriously. Not really surprising. Most folks are fine with ignoring what goes on down here. Well, since you're here and Carl isn't, and I really want to get this solved, I will take you up on that. What I need is very technical. I can talk you through it remotely. I'm gonna head to the monitoring station. The first box we're looking for is over near UC Surplus. You know, Antonio's place. I can contact you once you get there.
chart mounted on the wall. When you find it, open it up and flip the big switch. That's it. Great job. So, that trip to Secondary Breaker, and that goes to... Oh, wow, really? They wired it like that? Jeez, okay. Okay, got it. Next one is way down past Jinx. And maybe up a story or two? It's a bit of a hike. Sorry. The Trade Authority has access to goods and services no one else does. No one. Welcome to the Trade Authority. If you're here on legitimate business, I would be more than happy to help you. If, however, you are here under false pretense, say, sent by one Miss Tsang of UC Distribution, then I'm afraid you'll find nothing illegitimate here to report to her. And I'd ask that you pass along my request to stop these silly games. So, what'll it be? Perhaps, but I'm quite confident in my business, and I refuse to be intimidated. Please, let me know if I can assist you further. That depends. If you have a ship and are willing to haul cargo, then we've got some work. Otherwise, you're gonna have to be more specific. We frequently post cargo running jobs up on the mission boards around town. Check them out. I've heard our jobs pay well, and on the off chance that's not what you're looking for, well, I can't really help you then. Many different parties use the mission board to post jobs for freelancers and the like. For example, the Trade Authority uses them to post cargo hauling jobs. You'll usually find mission boards in bars, typically ones nearest the spaceport. You might be able to find them elsewhere, but that's your best bet. Hello. No loitering, okay? I don't have the patience for it. That's so. I think folks down here are too poor to afford electronics. Not the first time I heard that line. Yeah, I get that kind of attitude far too often. You find yourself with any more commentary. Feel free to keep it to yourself. Uh, it's fine. Just maybe give things an extra thought before you let them roll right out of your mouth. You see something you like, just say the word. Nope. No question, business has been slow. Not too worried, though. Managed to make ends meet for a good long while. Don't expect that to change now. Stay safe out there. It's a quaint shop, isn't it? I like it.
I am legally required to remind you that management ain't responsible on account of something bad happening to you in here. You buying? You want a beer? Fine. You want a buddy to talk to, or a therapy session, or whatever? Walk right back out that door. Down here? Like that's somehow different from other bars? Worse, maybe? That's what we're implying? Yeah? Well, don't. First of all, I didn't ask what you thought of it. Second, don't blow smoke up my ass. We both know it ain't nice. Uh-huh. Hmm. <laughs> anything at Enrix. That place is where good selection goes to die.
Did I say thank you? Because thank you. There's no way I could have done that in a reasonable amount of time all by myself. Well, not everyone would be, and I appreciate it. Thanks to your help, I was able to trace the power drain. I know where it's coming from. Unfortunately, the source is exactly where I was afraid it was. The Trade Authority. So, that's something that I'll need to deal with. That'll be fun. If you want to tag along, I certainly wouldn't complain. But if not, then this is where we part ways. So thanks to you, we've got evidence that the Trade Authority is behind the power drain being reported down here. I don't know if you ever dealt with the Trade Authority, but Zoe is intimidating. I have to go in there, but I really, really don't want to. You think you'd be willing to go with me? Just make sure this doesn't go badly? I don't know. I feel like I'm the one who's going to wind up in trouble. It's always got a way of twisting things. Thanks. That means a lot. I can do the talking, I think. Just be ready for, well, anything. to remind me of the big deer. I'm afraid I can't keep track of all your little work for drones. I'm Luis Arias. Well, you know that, because I've been in here three times. Yes, yes, of course you are. And what was it you were accusing me of with absolutely no evidence? The power drain is coming from your building, Zoe. You and I both know it, and now I can prove it. I'm sorry, what? We traced the drain, checked the grid. It led us here. You, you can't talk your way out of this. I'm going to ask you to wait here a moment. I'll be right back. Okay, just be ready for anything. I don't know if she's going to come out of there with a gun or call in mercenaries or what. I don't want this to turn out violent if we can avoid it, okay? That's dramatic, but reassuring, I guess. Well, Miss Reyes, I apologize for not taking this matter more seriously. I assure you, I will eagerly assist in getting to the bottom of this. No, you're not weaseling out of this. 
We got to the bottom of it. You are the bottom. I appreciate your enthusiasm for your work, but I do a little more research before casting aspersions. Someone has indeed been using this location through which to route electrical power. It is not the Trade Authority. I've had my suspicions for a while, and I've been keeping detailed notes, which I'm happy to share with you. For now, though, what do we do next? I... wait, what? Oh, for heaven's sake. I presume you've been assisting Miss Reyes in tracking down this little problem. Well, clearly there's more work to be done. Why don't you continue the work you've been doing with an assurance that the Trade Authority will compensate you for your time? I'll coordinate things here with Miss Reyes. With Mast's access to the grid, we'll find out who did this soon enough. And why. Presumably, you're the one who's been doing the field work, so... I believe you'll find there's another junction box out there in the well that needs your attention. Okay, well, this is not how I saw this going. For the moment, let's assume the sooner you find the source of all this, the sooner it can be over. Does it matter? Sure seems like this is happening one way or another. I don't trust her, but I'll keep an eye on her. Honestly, I have no idea. I think that's actually even more concerning, and that's saying something. Signed up for a test by the program just the other day.
that clear? And Zoe's here too, if you hadn't guessed. We've agreed to work together on this. Once you throw the switch, we can direct you to the next junction box. That's it, thanks. Let's just take a look here. Okay, you're going to want to head for box 45A. It should be near Apex Electronics. <laughs> you can't possibly be serious. Are you looking at the same diagram I am? 47B is obviously the next one. It's on the same level. Adequately done. I appreciate that you've listened to reason. The junction box should be just nearby. Miss Reyes and I have both noted that the next node in this trace is not on any of the current diagrams. She means it's not in the well. It's somewhere on the surface. Which technically means it's not my responsibility. We'll have this solved in short order. However... Zoe, I know how to read. Ignore her. Head for box 45A, okay? However, we agreed that we all like to see this through. If you head topside, I'll pull up the diagrams we need.
needs them. Life in New Atlantis moves pretty fast. I'll do my best to keep up. Nice and steady. Just the way I like it. I've got a good location, plenty of foot traffic, and a ton of people who are in a hurry and need to make a quick stop for the essentials. Things keep going this way, I'm going to start opening franchises all over the settled systems. You kidding me? Nowhere else like it in the settled systems. First time I came here as a kid, I knew I was going to come back and make my mark on this city. Nowhere I'd rather be. And now that I've got this place up and running, it's all coming together. I've got all your basics right here. Have a good one. What do you think you're doing? Don't try that. CJ's is always open. No matter what you need, when you need it, I'm here. Thanks for stopping. You're under me. arrest. No sudden moves. Business. You want to do this the hard way, huh? You see security. Stand down.